Good evening from the Hoppings here in Newcastle. This is Europe's largest traveling fun fair. It's my first time here. There's apparently over 400 rides, including some of the biggest fun fair rides you're gonna see. So let's go and explore and get on some stuff. So I'm beginning my time here just by walking up and down and seeing what sort of attractions we have. Lots of very mad ones. And I'll be honest, I'm not like a fairground aficionado. I'm a theme park guy. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff here that is very new to me. A lot of stuff I won't be that familiar with. But that just makes it interesting, doesn't it? And there are a couple of coaster crates to get to. So I have some sort of 3D experience. I'm not sure what that's gonna be. And a good old fashioned ghost train. I might give that a go later because they're normally either hilariously bad or kind of entertaining. Now this is a ghost train that looks a little more interesting. Look at all the animatronics and stuff. Well, this ghost train was four pounds, so I thought I'd give it a go. Technically a crud. into hilariously bad category there really wasn't a lot in there the first section you sort of went down a dot up to the top a spider came down and that's kind of it the second indoor section was better but even still that's i've ridden better ghost trains that are very low level seaside parks so as well as rides there's obviously lots and lots and lots of food options here So Air is a bit of a goodie. I did actually ride this years ago, maybe over a decade ago, at Winter Wonderland. It is very good though, so I think I'm gonna make this my first ride, or first proper ride of the day.
I say, air is maybe not as intense as I remember it, but it was still a pretty good fun ride. However, seven pounds to ride that, I think is maybe a bit steep for the sort of thrill level. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend that if you're on a budget. Houston, I need you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Over. Apollo 13 looks mildly terrifying. Think I'm gonna do it anyway though. Wish me luck. Apollo 13, 10 pounds is a uh, very steep for one ride and it was decent enough. I mean, it's the first time I've actually properly done a boost and I kind of was expecting to be a little bit more intense than it was. You do get a bit of a cheek pull on the way up, but yeah, I was, I was kind of expecting to be a little bit more thrilling. I actually found it oddly relaxing at times, but uh, yeah, still fun to do it and still some great views when you're up there. Is Captain America a fighter? I suppose he is, but he's a good guy. Well, one ride that's definitely been on my agenda is the Tagada, because these things look bloody insane. So let's watch them all get yeeted around, shall we?
Well, that was pretty bloody insane. And at four pounds, probably the best valley ride I've ridden so far. People are getting chucked around all over the place. And uh, not gonna lie, you do get a little bit of back damage. And I'm probably gonna feel the bruises tomorrow. But yeah, that was fun. It was mad. XXL is some sort of giant KMG afterburner thing. Pretty intense, lots of screaming on there. But again, another ride that's £7.50. It's the sort of thing I would just walk past if I was at a theme park. But I sort of feel obliged to go on it here because it's one of the bigger rides. So, yeah, I think I'm definitely more of a theme park guy than a fun fair guy. So, Wild Mouse is £5. I'm going to give this one a miss because I've ridden two spinning Wild Mouses or Wild Mice in the last week and they're pretty rubbish. And we have another booster. I think one's enough for the evening. And another Tagada too. And of course it wouldn't be a fair without the waltzers. That is £3.50. <laughs> Well, as you're coming through the main entrance, we come into some sort of massive food zone. You've got all kinds of options through here, from sweets to burgers and hot dogs, slushies. They do have some live music as well. So that's all for my evening here at the 2024 Hoppings. It was very interesting to come down, spend a few hours here, see what Europe's largest fun fair is all about. But I've got to say, I'm definitely more of a theme park guy. I prefer a bigger variety of rides. I found a lot of things are very similar here. You get a lot of repetition, a lot of rides that do similar things. And when you're paying sometimes between seven and 10 pounds per ride for the big rides, obviously that builds up quite quickly. So glad I came down. I definitely recommend coming down here for an evening if you're local but um, for me I think I'm going to stick to the parks all right thanks for watching uh, there's a video up on the screen now from a park I can't decide which one I'm going to put up there so it's going to be a bit of a gamble kind of theme park roulette but if you want to give that a look I'm sure it's quite good I'll catch you next time